Okay, I finally got around to building all the parts to make this device and show you how it was built. Okay, it's basically the uh, the parts list. I'll zoom in on that so you can see the whole whole parts list. And what we've got here is that's basically a Hammond bot or a flange box. Um, and you'll need three of the uh, the battery snaps, a rocker switch. The globe and the globe holder, uh, the 2.5 mil plug, um, the 3.5 mil plug and the plug socket that basically comes apart. Same with the other one, and these are mono, not stereo. It says on here stereo, but they're actually mono. Um, 820 ohm resistor that's those there uh, you need one of those uh, the 150 K's you need one of those uh, the 100 K's you will need two off he's actually labeled these when I buy them makes it a bit easier <laughs> and the 2.2 mega ohm it's actually supposed to be 2.4 mega ohm but that's all i can get is 2.2 but they still work very much similar as the 2.4 and these ones here are the 150 ohm and therefore the uh, silver maker that's basically the silver maker there on the side it's basically pretty easy positive which is on that side and then the 150 ohm with the light and that goes to the other plug so when you plug in the two electrodes that go into the you basically it makes the power through that so it's basic setup that one but what we want to do is get this one here and show you how it's done okay I've got the picture of the um, the little chip but first of all what you want to do is get a little board cut it out basically like that um, on the bottom of the board you want to cut out four tracks so this side of the tracks not touching that side of the track I've basically left two tracks and measured seven up and cut a little rectangle out of there that's basically what I've done there. Then what you want to do is get the uh, the LM358, which I didn't have on this here. I'm, it's basically down here, but you've got all the other parts. You just need to show the uh, electronic shop what parts you need, and they'll get them for you. Um, well, that's basically the chip in there. And you solder that in there. That one I actually went a little too low, but it's still soldered in there. I got them soldered to the pins. Um, now basically, draw a little diagram on how this is built. Basically, you have the the board with all the the lines on there on the board, the chip, basically here has four pins on the bottom, four pins on the top. You'll find a little dot in the bottom there and a cut cut out little piece in the black chip and this one here is number one number two number three number four number five number six seven number eight 
I've got a little picture of how the actual device works. That's basically how that little black chip works. Oh. That's basically it there. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And these are basically the triangles in that diagram, which I'll explain to you in a minute how it works. Um, this one here. Okay, the first step that we're doing at the moment is from number one, we want the 2.4 or 2.2 mega ohm resistor, and that goes from number one to number two. So after you've basically got that chip in there, you've basically got them, these will be on the track obviously, the track will continue down with the, the little holes where you put the things in. So you basically want to put a, a the 2.2 or 2.4 resistor from number one to number two. It'll basically go like that. Then what you do with the pins that you chop off on the bottom is you'll need to connect from number eight. So the track that comes off up the top, that comes up here, you need to connect the, the, the pins that you cut off, connect that to the furthest track that runs on this side as that will be the positive. And the furthest track, which will be the track that runs down here, will have the positive, and the one that runs on the other side will be the negative. So you basically use a wire to go from there to there, and from number four, you want another pin that goes from number four to the negative. So I'll basically go from there to the negative. And so the next step, you want to get the uh, two point, I mean the 150 ohm resistor and go from number one to number three on this one here, it goes from number one, the 150k ohm resistor, to number three. So basically on the, the board that you have, the resistor goes from there to the pin that comes out with that track on number three. So it basically look like that. And that focuses. Okay, on to the next step. You want the uh, two 100k resistors, and they go from number three to the positive, and from number three to the negative. So you get two 100k resistors. K ohm resistors, one goes from number three to the positive, the other one goes to the negative. Like that. So I basically go from there to the positive, and the other one will be from here to the negative, number three. Okay, next step. You want to get your little capacitor, and that goes from number two to the negative. So from track number two over to the negative. So basically, on the uh, the board, from here.
but the negative. Okay, next step. Wanna get your uh, strips measure maybe two inches, inch and a half. Cut them wires because you'll need them to do the next part. Fold it in half. So you got two wires, and what you'll need to do is go from number one up to number track number six. So we'll basically get have a wire from number one up to number six and another wire that goes from number three to number five. It'll basically look like that. Okay, next step. You need to cut some more wires. One of them you need to cut the red one. The first one you cut both of them. This one here you need to cut a black one. So one red, one black. So they're basically like that. But I'll come to that later. But you need these wires here as you'll need to put a wire from number one then actually show you while we go from number these two here are from number three which are the 100 ohms, one goes to the positive, one goes to the negative and then you've got that little brown capacitor that comes off number two which goes to the negative um, what else was there, there's, there's the number three that goes to number five there's number one that goes to number six and those are those two red wires that you just put from number one to six and three to five. That's basically what you've just done. Okay. Um, now you'll need the wire that comes off number one, a wire that comes off of number seven, and a, a wire that comes out of the earth track like that. Okay. So basically you've got the wire that comes out of number seven, the wire that comes out of number one, which is one and seven, them two, and yet negative lead. Okay, next step. You need to put a diode from number seven to the furthest track over from where the chip is so basically the next track over you need to put a diode from number seven and the line you want more up that end so it should go like that okay the next step want to get the other diode because you'll need two of them it goes from the same track 
to the next track over. So basically the next track over, you want to put the diode in there, that goes to the next track over, but the diode, you want the line closest to this end. So it's basically, you want the line on this end. Sort of drew in the middle of it. But, yeah. <laughs> okay, the next step. You want to get the, the LED, the bicolor LED. And it goes from where that diode comes from. the next track over which will be where this pin goes try and draw it through through the screen okay now you want to get the this capacitor here and that goes the black line that you see on here that comes out with the, the wire hanging out where the other one goes into the board and that basically goes into the board where the light comes out comes up to the capacitor and then you've got that wire coming out like that okay well basically then wires that come out on 1 and 7 which is that wire and that wire basically how this light works here you have the wire that comes out on 7 the wire that comes out on one you have the diode the other diode the light capacitor and then it connects with number one when that connects with number one this light will start flashing. What happens is, what's supposed to happen with that stereo plug, this light is basically still flashing when you plug it in. Well, what's meant to happen with the mono plug, it basically disconnects this, so the light disconnects and then you get the power come out to the electrodes rather than flashing the light. So basically the current's going through the light rather than all the way out to the electrodes and that's basically how that machine was working it, the, the first one I've built so basically the mono just disconnects it there okay um, on to the next step is making the box what you'll need is a 7mm drill bit the 7mm drill bit is for the, the trim pod and that goes basically in the side of the plastic like that and what you want to do is make sure it's into the center of the plastic because if it goes too high it's going to hit the, the lid of the box if you go too low you won't be able to get it in the hole as well as this corner thing they have a uh, piece of plastic there and if you drill it too far up to the front when you put it in it's going to touch here so you want to make sure you get enough clearance for that one there to go in you'll also need to cut out a groove what I've done there is basically got a hacksaw hacksaw to line down this side hacksaw to line down the other side 
and the actual width of the hacksaw blade plus one millimeter is roughly the depth that I've gone there and then basically I get a, a Stanley knife cut a line across the bottom and push it out and it snaps off then I get a file file the side file the side until basically I can fit one of these switches into the actual socket basically like that this other hole here that one is a 6mm hole that's for the 3mm plug which is that thing there that will basically go in the hole that plugs into the, uh, the device basically like this one here that's been done that will plug into that one there the difference between the mono plug is when you plug that in this pin and this pin disconnect from each other this pin here is one for the electrodes and that main pin there is the one for the electrodes that will come out but this one here will disconnect from the capacitor so then therefore it will disengage the the light that's on flashing um, okay The other hole, that is a 5mm hole, that's a 6mm, that's a 7mm. Okay, where's the device? Oh. Okay, the way to put it in the box. First of all, I need my soldering iron because I Need to warm that up, but I'll quickly show you how to make <coughs> the wire to wire this thing up. What you need is the three nine volt bits. I thought I had them here, but I don't. I've got them over here. Basically, uh, you want to wire them up like this. So it goes red, that black one will go to the red one, this black one will go to the red one, and then you have the black one coming out. That there, but a bit unorganized. What you need to do is cut the red wire that comes off the end. You have a black wire that comes off this end, the red wire will come off the other end. Cut it so it's basically in half. Then, what you'll need to do is put a lamp in between, like that, like so. I thought I did have one here with a a light bulb will solder it in, but I'll put it over here. It needs to be soldered in there like that. Okay, the soldering on is heated up. I needed to solder this one into the positive track. So basically the, the positive track that's down the side. You want to solder the red wire, the one that you just put the light on. You want to solder that onto the You only get so many parts to build so many stages and steps for it. Let's 
one I haven't uh, rolled out. So it should be into the positive track. So I say you'd be looking at positive this side, negative this side. That's the negative Y that needs to go to the switch. Okay. Oops. Needs to go in that way as that. So the LED goes into the uh, the front of the device now, rather than on top. That basically sticks out the front like that. And the switch like that. Oh, this one doesn't have the, um, the 820k resistor. It basically goes from the bottom of the uh, trim pod, so basically on that third one there. Because as I when I turn this down, it'll be on the bottom, and that goes basically to the one on the top. Get that in there. Basically like that. Now we can put that back in there. That's pushed into that hole. Um, the wire that comes out of number seven, which comes out of the number seven off that chip goes to the middle of the trim, to the middle one there. Solder that on there. So basically the wire that comes from number seven goes to the middle of the trim pod and the wire from bottom of the trim pod goes to the very front one. These two here, the one that comes out of number one wire will go to that one there and the other capacitor will go to the other pin that comes on the side. Solder them in there. 